Hi team, welcome to Cloud Pandit in this Microsoft Fabric Master Program. In today's session, we will see how to write a web activity JSON output to the lake house. So our source is going to be a REST API. Okay, so we will make a REST API call using the web activity. We will get the JSON output. That particular JSON output, I'll be processing to load it or to copy into the lake house. How we can able to do, I'll tell you. First, we need to, I'll show you what is our REST API link that I'll be using. Then I'll create a lake house. The third step is I'll be creating the data pipeline. So let's see step by step, come here, go. So first we need to uh, look at the source. Our source is, I'll be using a dummy.restapexample.com. This is an online free uh, REST API link. You can just click on this. So when you click on this link, you can see this is the REST API response. So this is in the JSON format. If you want to view this particular proper employee details in this particular um, response, you can just click here JSON uh, formatter online free. Okay, just type it like this. Okay, so you'll get a links like this. You can just click on JSON editor online. So you can just anything you can able to do it. You can put it here. Okay, then you can just say transform it. Okay, so you can see, so this is how the data is, looks like. Okay, you can also preview total. There are 24 items you have, it is saying. So you will have like this, maybe not only this link, so many other links that you can able to use. You can use the first link also. Okay, let's say you can just paste it. Automatically, you can see the data is is showing the all employee details in the json response it is showing okay like this you can able to see this is the response i want to take and copy into the lake house so how to get this response so i'll tell you now we will be using a data pipeline in that we will be using web activity set variable and copy activity to process this to load data into the lake house so sources we we are very clear this is the link that we are using as our source our sync is lake house so let me go inside data factory go to my workspace click on new let me create my lake house called cloud pundit sync lake house 001 and create it so it is saying it is already existed somebody might have taken so maybe i will say 05 okay so fine so this particular sync lake house 05 is there now i'll be creating a one folder called your output folder in this particular output folder i want to copy the json response this is the response this rest api response which is there in a json format this particular json data i want to copy into the lake house output folder so for that i'll go inside my workspace click on new data pipeline so here i'll be creating a pipeline called pl data injection daily click create okay this is also saying this particular name also existed Maybe I can say uh, instead of daily, maybe you can say weekly, create it. Okay, so the pipeline is created, PL data ingestion weekly. Now, first activity that I wanted to use is web activity to read the REST API response. That's why I go to activities, click on web. So in this web activity, what we need to do, settings. Okay, first we need to connect, click new so when we click new it is a external source right automatically it is detected which is we need to connect to the web so here this is a url that i need to connect copy this url you can provide that base url here then you can say the connection name is ls underscore rest api underscore source and authentication is anonymous generally in real time you'll have a basic or service principle uh, something like that but here this is online which we can uh, uh, authenticate with the anonymous without providing any credentials click create so once you connected now come down here you can able to use a get method to get that particular results okay now once you have done till here what you can do come to home save and uh, run this particular pipeline let's see whether we are getting the a response from this particular web activity or not go to output so in the output you can able to see web activity is going to run now okay so it is just succeeded within four seconds very quick okay now click on output you can see so these are the employee details lot of data that we have but i want to take complete output of this web activity 
I want to take and copy into the copy into the Lakos, including the status data and the data like uh, this is a area right within the array we have uh, different items so let's take this entire output output i want to take so you can't directly take this output and you can't copy it. that's why i want to assign this particular output a variable so to do that what you can do you can see your uh, pipeline variable you can create click new okay pipeline variable for json response or you can say uh, rest response okay J just rest api response rest response means now to this particular variable i need to assign the web activity output how we can able to assign you just have seen the formula is at the rate activity of this web activity dot output when you have given output everything will come into that particular variable so for that go to activities you can see something called set variable activity i'll be passing that output into this particular set variable use this set variable here i'll be passing a value called okay so you can say here that's it so this you must have to put it in the uh, like curly braces otherwise you will get a error team because it can't consider it as a string value if you're not giving that now just say save and run let's see whether both the activities are going to be successful or not so web activity succeeded so next we will see the set variable activity is going to run we okay it is started running now i think it picked a little late so earlier whatever it was showing is the earlier run now you can see set variable is also successful you can see input side what we have assigned is this is the things that we have assigned same thing you can also see here so same thing is there in the output now what we wanted to do we want to use a copy activity to copy this particular data okay but the problem is there is a small problem i'll tell you how to handle that so you need to take that particular response and uh, save it into the lake house for that what we need is we need to take a something called temporary file i'll tell you go to lake house within the lake house you can create a one more folder called staging folder okay very careful observe this in this staging folder i'll be uploading a one file let me show you what is that file and what it has okay so under this what you need to do if you go here there is a here so job one underscore completed dot txt in this particular file in this particular file i am going to store only some dummy the text called dummy i'm going to store you need to carefully look at this why we are uh, keeping this because copy activity must have to read some data then only it can able to copy into the target because without any input you cannot able to copy anything into the target side of the copy so that's why what you can do is now if you come here i'll be using the source source is what within a workspace i have lake house this is the same lake house in this i have a folder called staging let's select the folder called staging in this staging i have a file called job one completed.txt in this i don't have any headers i have only one row of data called dummy there is no headers so that's why what i'll do this is a delimited text i'll say first then click on settings here i need to say that first way as a header no i don't have any headers uncheck this click ok how i have done i went to the settings here i unchecked this that is a very important point that you need to do once you have done that now come to the destination where you want to copy the data i want to copy my data in one second i'm sorry come to the source source said you just read this but what we want to include at the source said along with this i want to copy the data that we have in the set variable for that i am adding a new a additional columns here i'll say this is called a json output okay json underscore output this is a json output this json output is a column name for this column the data is going to be add dynamic content the output will come from the variable 
rest to response output i'll be assigning to a column called json underscore output so now there are two columns one is coming from the file okay uh, dummy data is there right for that the default column will be added as a one one will be the default column along with the source file a column called one which is a default column under that we have a data called dummy so for that we are also having a json underscore output json underscore output for example currently if you want to preview data click preview data it is asking for response for now let's say response is a text maybe going forward response will come from the set variable see now if i say json output is a text so here it is coming as a dummy because dummy is coming from the file this test is coming from the set variable but as of now i just given when you are previewing i have given text that's why text is coming when you run it this particular for this json output i'll be assigning what this whatever value i have assigned here that is a web active output i have assigned that particular value will be passing here okay next come to the destination so destination is going to be again files browse it you can select here output in this particular output i am not giving any file if you want to give file name you can give it let's say i want to give the output as a sample.json okay sample.json i am giving maybe you can just see here also it is a delimited text here also it is a delimited text but instead of delimited text if you want to mark it as a json you can mark it as a json okay sample.json I am writing now come to mappings import schemas here for importing schema you pass some value text i passed now you see json output and this one one which is coming from the file i don't want this one i'll delete this this json underscore output i'll pass it into the my lake house in output folder okay so this is how you need to read the response from a web activity assigned to a set variable from set variable you will be passing it into the copy activity in additional columns so in the mapping we will be removing the columns which are coming from the dummy file and then we will be taking only the column which is coming from the additional column so that's how only the json output will be copying into the file let's see now uh, save and run this particular pipeline we'll see whether this pipeline is fine running fine or is it throwing any errors set variable finally copy data activity is running so copy data activity is in progress let's wait for a few more seconds yeah it is successfully copied the data now come to the lake house go inside the output okay now right click click refresh you should be able to see sample.json but you see there is a uh, slashes uh, quotes there is a lot of disturbance right so there is a uh, additional quotations backslash lot of things are there i don't want such type of things so in that case what you can do is you can go to data pipeline again you can go to copy activity so at this case sync said uh, so it is coming as a like you select it as a delimited text and uh, click on the settings in this settings what you can do is here you can say no quote character and no backs no escape character you can select okay when you select a no code character no escape character at the same side remember we have made a change one change is like we have made from json to the delimited text file format we have changed and we have made this particular two changes code character we made it as a no code escape character we mentioned as a no escape character with this now you can save and run it let's see the pipeline it is succeeded now go to lake house okay uh, you need to refresh this refresh it once once you refresh check the time now the time is see now backslash is everything is gone okay so that's how 
what you need to do is you can see a lot of employee details everything you have here okay so this is how you can able to even remove the escape characters and code characters by changing only one thing is sync site we need to change from the json format to the delimited text and we need to make the code character and escape characters as no okay so now we have a final scenario if you look at here i have a delimited text but i have written it as a dot json extension see extension can be anything that doesn't matter but there is a one more scenario that we need to discuss if you go to lakehouse if you click on this particular file you are seeing this is coming as a column right so i don't want to keep this as a column even though delimited text file i am writing into the dot json extension but i don't want to uh, send this particular column okay so how you can able to avoid uh, writing this particular header is come to the copy date activity in the sync site settings you just click on the settings come down say that add headers to file is no i don't want to add the headers to the file okay click okay now if you run once again save and run it now what will happen is this particular lake house will get a only json response there won't be any headers in it I can just uh, refresh it here we can see it is succeeded right if you go to lake house now you can see now it is refreshed and there is no header okay we have only data so this is how you can able to save the data into the sample.json file and uh, the response is going to be the json okay in few, uh, next few sessions we will also see how to pass this complex json files and all we will see in the data pipeline thank you all that's all for today so if you have any questions or anything please put your questions in the comment box i request all of you to subscribe my youtube channel and encourage me to thank you that's it for today